All right, guys. So we wanted to show you guys uh, what we're doing with the upstairs portion of our house. Uh, the upstairs only has like a bonus room. Um, we rarely go up there right now. We've been in the house only a few months. And uh, we're gonna give you a tour of the upstairs before we convert it and make it into what it's gonna be. Um, which is the reason why we actually moved and picked this house. All right, we're making our journey up the stairs. Everybody. Gotta watch this guy real careful because he uh, he's not too good with the stairs yet. Uh, go on, buddy, let's go. Uh, 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 All right, come on, let's go. Climb, climb, climb. Upstairs is Climb really like you never have climbed before. All right, so we're officially upstairs and we'll do a mini tour here. Um, here is the bathroom. It's got its own bathroom up here. And then the here is a pretty large walk-in closet. And then we'll turn around here. And here is the entire room. It's pretty guys, long. Would you guys like some food? And basically... Oh, I'm sorry, we're out. We're going to be converting it. Um, for the past few months that we've lived in the house, it's just been a fun room. As you can see by the little fort we built over there for the kids. And we're gonna go ahead and take that down, unfortunately. But it's just been a fun area for them to run and jump and do all sorts of stuff. And we'll take a look in the fort here. I'm gonna tell them what happened. They got their own little light. And they do a bunch of coloring and activities. And they even started decorating the walls. <laughs> and now we're gonna show you the room going this way. So I don't know if you can see on camera because camera sometimes it's hard to tell how large an area is. But uh, this is the entire room. And so we're gonna be slowly converting it here. And I wanted to do this video just to show you a, a before and an after. All right, so everybody's upstairs here. And Malia came upstairs too. She's over there in the corner. And we're pretty much getting ready to do some hard work for her up here. And we'll later go into detail about that hard work and we'll show you the progress as we go. We're gonna discuss what's gonna happen with the fort here once construction starts. All right, Aubrey, um, if you wanna join the meeting. Okay. <laughs> well, what an appearance. So, um, we've decided that due to construction having to start in that corner, we have to move the fort. Uh, so we just want to get your feelings and concerns on the fort. No, I don't think so. Stairs. Get away from the stairs. Are you gonna put it no, in? no. The then building inspector said no. Then it goes right It's here. dangerous. Then we can't get into the room. I think the best corner for the fort would be right there where Malia is. Well, we'll have to go straight over here. We'll go straight there and we'll go straight up and down this way. What do you have? And then it has uh, blocks. You have blocks? How many blocks do you have? And? Two. Good job. So Malia, since this room's all for you, we just want to know how you feel about it. I guess that's, you're neutral? Oh, you're giving the camera a kiss. This is your new area where you'll spend a lot of time. Yeah? Can I have a smile? Can I have a smile? Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. I said, okay. Ah. Well, yeah. Sorry about that. She loves to stem on things, and sometimes it's not appropriate. Not appropriate. <laughs> so I guess that means you're happy, right? All right. So we're getting ready to hang up all the different educational merchandise here from Target, and. Uh, and um, we're gonna call it the interactive wall where Malia will walk up and point and choose and different things. And, and we've already got one cool little thing. It's Velcro, she'll be able to switch things and move things around, figure out the time, the day of the week, all that good stuff. So everything you see down here on the floor will be going up on this interactive wall for her in the corner. So today we're going to be filming, putting the first piece of furniture together for Malia. This will be her work desk. And it is from Ikea. And there's what it will look like hopefully once I'm done assembling it. 
And there's the product number in case you want to pick one up yourself. Uh, but we'll of course show it to you when it's all put together. And I didn't notice they show you here what it will look like. It's pretty cool. And so wish me luck because IKEA stuff always seems to take much longer than planned. And just so you get an idea, it's pretty tall. It's like two feet tall of a box. So I'm sure there's thousands of parts in there. IKEA is never any fun, but you know, um, sometimes you just gotta meatballs. get the Swedish meatballs and enjoy what you're doing. So here we go. Don't touch them. All right, here comes the unboxing of the Flesat work desk from Sweden. instructions just for anybody who hasn't put together IKEA they don't write anything it's all just pictures uh -oh. so you just got to be good at reading pictures well, if you go to IKEA So this is the bottom of the top of the desk. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but anyway, it's held in by nine bolts. This one was the first one and I over tightened it, not realizing it. Cause it can actually, a lot of the bolts drop down in a little bit. So they're flush inside, but not this one. Then I tried to take it back out and it did that. So just be careful if you ever buy this desk, which chances are you probably won't. But if you do, um, just hand tighten them enough to where they're tight. Isaac. <laughs> if Ikea wasn't hard enough, bring an Isaac with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ow, my arm can't fit. <laughs> We got three different choices here. One, two, three. We're gonna go ahead and pick the middle one. So we're gonna plug that in, and at least, essentially, hopefully, we'll just plug right in where they should go. And they are, so that's good for IKEA. Sometimes IKEA does mess up on their pre-drilled holes. Hey, Malia. Hi, Isaac. So she's doing her stimming. That's what she does when she gets tired. <laughs> and uh, she's just being funny. But she's been up here the whole time just watching us work. And so here's our progress so far. We got the computer up here today. Um, we do have to get it hooked up. There's a lot of wires behind it that I have to organize and all that good stuff. And then uh, here's the IKEA desk fully assembled and that's where it's gonna go in the corner there. That's gonna be her workspace. We're gonna decorate the wall all around it. Then over here is what we call the interactive wall. And we're gonna go ahead and 
um, keep putting stuff up there and work with her uh, on this wall a lot. And then here's all the stuff we still have to put up. All that, all those bags right there are still full of all sorts of learning stuff. And then we have all of our supplies here to hang everything up. Even the good old school um, mounting tabs. So lots of work to do, but we did make good progress for having a two-year-old crazy guy. Malia who gets into everything. And then the big sister, Aubrey. So uh, tune in and we'll keep showing the progress of this upstairs. All right, say bye. Bye. Malia, give him a smile. Hello. Say bye. Bye. Malia, say bye.